Right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Zimbabwe. We are coming to you live here on Zimbabwe Daily, and we're going to be bringing you a live broadcast of uh, Dr. Tokozani Kupe's press conference. In the next few minutes, we'll be crossing over to Bulawayo, where Dr. Kupe will be uh, presiding over a press conference. There are a few things that she wants to share with you Zimbabwe and uh, just stay tuned to Zim Daily as we'll be coming to you live. It's exactly coming up to 28 minutes to 11 a.m. in the morning right here on Zim Daily where we're coming to you live from in the United Kingdom, London this morning. And thank you for joining us. We'll be crossing over to Blawayo for that live feed for you. And uh, we are working in conjunction with the Center for Innovation and Technology who are on the ground for us this morning to bring you that live feed. Very interesting developments in Zimbabwe. We actually had a feed that we're just going to sh share with you. This is pre-recorded um, of Dr. Tokuzani Kupe um, at her home this morning as we are preparing for that press conference. Let's just run that feed for you in case you're joining us. This is Zimbabwe Daily and we are broadcasting to you live from the United Kingdom this morning, and we're bringing you the Dr. Tokuzani Kupe's press conference in the next few minutes. But before we get to that, let's just um, run something here for you, for those that are joining us. We quite interesting developments coming out of Zimbabwe this morning, and we are just going to make sure that we keep you up to date with the events back home this morning. And this is Zim Daily on a Monday, Monday the 21st of March 2021. So let's just uh, listen to this in the next few minutes before we cross live to Bulawayo. But this is what happened early on as we have been following these developments since, since this morning. Let's just uh, cross over to Bulawayo just for a few minutes so you can kind of appreciate the this is through the Center for Innovation and Technology, who is our technical partner in Harare, in Bulawayo this morning. Stay tuned to Zim Daily. Right. Uh, there you go. We are at Dr. Tukuzani Skupe's residence, I presume, and uh, you have Triple C Citizens Coalition for Change members there that are just outside Dr. Tukuzani Skupe's. Uh, and what you're going to see here is quite interesting. There she is. Uh, she's just emerged from the home and she's in a triple C t shirts. These are developments that we are following in Zimbabwe right now. So we will be sharing with you that live broadcast. Stay tuned to Zimbabwe. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you very much, uh, members of the media, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here today. Uh, we are here today in Zirigazi, Makokova constituency, where we will be having one of the by elections this Saturday. It is a deliberate that we are making or we are holding this presser here in Zirigazi because. What age is one of the words that will be having a by election on Saturday? As we promised earlier on this year, that the president of the party will be making a signal which is going to guide our members, our supporters, and the general public towards an overwhelming victory on Saturday. The time has come for the president of the MTCT to make that announcement. Uh, here with me, I have the president of the MTCT, Madam uh, Dr. Tawazane Kupe, uh, the DSG of the party, Madam Nohula Mkoni, and the senior leadership of the party here in this uh, province and the region at large. Uh, without wasting much of your time, I will now hand over to the president of the MTCT, Madam President. The floor is yours. <laughs> Yeah. Um, thank you very much, um, Tanjo, and thank you very much, Honorable Mkum, and the rest of the members. And I would also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, members of the media for coming to our presser. Following our previous announcement that we are going to be working with like-minded opposition political parties because we are stronger together and that we're going to give a signal on who our members to vote for in the upcoming by-elections. I am therefore today announcing that we are calling on all our members, all MDCT members and supporters to go and vote on the 26th of March for Citizens Coalition for Change candidates across the country. By voting on the 26th of March, we are building a strong foundation for a resounding victory in 2023. I am also therefore calling on all our match for citizens, for, for citizens coalition for change candidates across the country. I am also calling on all our members and supporters and citizens at large to go to every house, to go to every street, to go to every village, mobilizing citizens so that they get out to vote in their numbers on the 26th of March 
for citizens, coalition for change candidates across the country. I am also calling on every, I would like to emphasize that it is important that we come together, we unite and join hands and rally behind advocate Nelson Chamisa. Because come 2023, there is no doubt that he is going to be the president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. And, and, and I'm calling on all of you so that we unite because collectively we must deliver real change to the people of Zimbabwe and give them better lives. That can only happen if we come together, if we join hands and, 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 and vote together on the 26th of March, 2026. Like I said, MDC team members, in your numbers, in all the provinces, I'm calling on all of you, Bulawayo, Mat North, Mat South, Midlands, Mashonaland Land West, Mashonaland Land Central, Mashonaland Land East, Harare, and everywhere else, go and vote on the 26th of March for citizens, for, for, co for citizens, coalition for change candidates across the country. All of them were contesting as MPs, all of them were contesting as councillors. Go and vote for them in your thousands. Like I said, by voting on the 26th of March, we are building a strong foundation towards a resounding victory in 2023. So let us, all of us, let us, all of us, rally behind President Nelson Chamisa as we prepare for 2023 election, as it is going to be a defining moment for every citizen in this country, I thank you. Now, thank you very much, uh, Madam President. Uh, we will now open the floor for questions. Uh, please identify yourself your name and the media outlet that you are coming from. Lulu. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my name is Lulu, Brenda from SAIT. Uh, Madam Kope, just for clarification's sake, are you joining CCC? If yes, you are joining, what happens to your party within CCC? Can you just explain me on that? If you look at the name of the party, Citizens Coalition, for change, meaning it is citizens who are coming together. It is citizens who are converging so that we are able to take state power. So as MDCT, we are also converging as citizens together with other citizens so that we form a formidable force which is going to take state power in 2023. Because once we take state power, we know that people are guaranteed of jobs. We know that people are guaranteed of food. We know that people are guaranteed of clean water and sanitation, good health and education. We know that teachers, nurses, doctors, and every worker are guaranteed for a decent salary. Right now, as long as if we do not have state power, there is no ways our people can be guaranteed of all these things. Hence the reason why we are saying we are converging as citizens coming together so that we fight in one corner and we're fighting for one cause and that one cause is to take state power so that president nelson chamisa becomes the president of the republic of zimbabwe so that he delivers real change to the people of zimbabwe Amen. Oh, yes. Yes. any other question yeah you can go yeah yeah um, looking at your political history, Dr. Kope, I, this may sound a bit controversial, but it seems like one of the most hated politicians in this country. Why is it so? You know that if people hate you, it means we've got something to offer. <laughs> and in this new movement, the Citizens Coalition for Change, time to hate each other 
must go because we don't have that time. The time that we have right now is to come together, converge and take state power. Citizens must come together. Let us fight in one corner. Those who are trying to do gatekeeping, they don't have any space in this movement where citizens are coming together. Our preoccupation and focus right now must be to come together as citizens and take our past behind us and move forward towards the future. And the future is a new Zimbabwe where everyone will have a better life. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Any other question? So for the benefit of uh, those who are uh, watching us live via various platforms, from here, the party and this leadership will be going from house to house, door to door, urging our people to vote on Saturday and vote for Citizens Coalition for change. This is why we are here. We are going to every home, every house, every hamlet, every valley, every mountain, mobilizing citizens around a common program of change, which is the Citizens Coalition for Change. Thank you very much. All right, there you have it, Zimbabwe. We have just been listening to you. Dr. Togozani Kupe, the, the leader of the Movement for Democratic Change. T. She's just officially confirmed that she's endorsing uh, the Chamisa led Citizens Coalition for Change. So, going forward, they will be campaigning in support of President Nelson Chamisa led Tukusi Movement. And you can see her there in Tukusi t shirts. And she is just leaving that press conference. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for joining us. This is Zimbabwe Daily. Just been following the events here. They say politics is um, 24 hours, is a very long time in politics. You've just heard from the horse's mouth where she has just left. In no, uh, there is no doubt that she has decided to be part of the change movement. I think whatever you think of Dr. Kupe, I think we all agree that we are stronger together. This is the message I think she was trying to get out there, that we need each other, we need to stand together. And if you want to beat this animal called ZANU-PF, we have to come together and make sure that we are united. The unit of purpose is what she was referring to there in a statement and we want to thank you zimbabwe for taking time to listen to us this morning thank you for joining us right here on a monday monday the 21st of march 2021 it's coming up to 10 minutes to 11 a.m where we're broadcasting to you live from this is uh zimbabwe daily we've just been listening to the president of the movement for democratic change t mr miss tokozani kupe She's just confirmed that her party with or is endorsing Nelson Chamisa, especially in the well in the coming election. They will be rallying behind the Chamisa led Triple C movement. In case you're joining us, let's go through some of the comments that we are seeing here. Trukugona and it gets stand with the silly bonge. Yes, cut the sniggers on with the silly patele. The latest from Zimbabwe. Silly bonga Zimbabwe. Lani Sele Uboni Labu to Doctor Togozano Kupe Use Penduil Anjovati and Agazang a Pume Vela Use. She's always been part of this change movement. Whatever you think of her, I think she, for those that are mature enough, understand the power of unity. When we come together as one, we are most likely to achieve our, job, our objectives than if we are fragmented. So we have just been listening to Dr. Tokozani Kupe, and she is, I, I think when we ran this broadcast earlier, we uh, did not uh, represent the facts correctly because we had said she had joined 
Triple C, and she's not joining Triple C, but she is. Uh, her party is endorsing the Chamisa-led movement. In, 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 in other words, they feel that uh, they need to rally behind Chamisa or Citizens Coalition for Change. She still remains the president of the Movement for Democratic Change. T. Right here on Zimbabwe Daily, let's look at some of the comments that we are getting from you, Zimbabwe. It is quite an interesting time to be alive uh, in Zimbabwe today. And this kind of caught us unawares, and we were not really expecting this to happen at the speed and pace. Uh, which it has happened but let's look at some of the comments here you are saying here this is what um, uh, some of you are saying you feel that she should uh, uh, rally or support the triple c movement but you feel that she should not uh she should just watch from the terraces in, in other words she shouldn't be given any position in the citizens coalition for change i don't think she is actually uh, vying for any positions or she's interested in any position so to speak all she was just saying there is that we need to come together as um all of us that are yearn for this change that we've all been uh talking about for years we're just looking at some of the comments that are coming from you guys right here on zim daily we uh coming to you live from uh we're coming to you live here <laughs> on a monday on a monday morning we just want to go through some of the comments as we uh digest the statement there from togozani kupe as the, for those that are joining us dr togozani kupe has officially endorsed the triple c movement in other words her party which is the movement for democratic change t is uh, rallying or will be campaigning on behalf of the triple c movement they have come out in the open they've released their statement and they are now going door to door as they just said in that statement that as soon as they finish the press conference they will be knocking on doors to ensure that blow your votes for nelson chamisa this is the kind of unity that we all need zimbabwe i know some of you are very angry with some of um uh the, the you accuse dr kupe of being the uh, force behind the split and all the bad things that have happened in the triple c movement but today she's come out in support of um president nelson chamisa she says her party is fully endorsing uh the triple c movement they're going to be campaigning on behalf and for the citizens coalition for change thank you zimbabwe for joining us some of the comments we can see your comments this is frank chasaya thank you very much for your comment frank we move vuru enda kuzano kwako tipe vanu chete this is tawanda musende kwa you feel that she should not be part of the movement but she should just um, give us the people and and uh, according to what you're saying here you just want the the votes and you don't want anything to do with here we can see your comments as we go through um this statement we are just going through the statement or the comments that you are sharing with us here following the statement that dr togozani kupe has just released that her party will be campaigning for and endorsing nelson chamisa led citizens coalition for change and this is the unity of purpose that everyone has been talking about whatever you think of it even the few votes that she has or she um, is bringing to the table, I think it is very important that those that are fighting for change accept. We know the history behind what has all happened. Some of you are very bitter with the way she handled herself um, in the past few years. Uh, but I think we should find it in our good hearts to at least forgive her and move on. 
There we go, Zimbabwe. We are going through some of your comments. We've just been listening to Dr. Tokuzani Kupe, who has officially endorsed the Triple C movement. She will be campaigning for and fully supporting the Chamisa-led Citizens Coalition for Change in the Saturday by-election. I think the 26th of March is actually this coming um, week. Today is the 21st, which means the 22nd Tuesday, 23rd Wednesday, 24th, Thursday, 25th is Friday, 26th of March is Saturday. So she'll be campaigning for the next few days, at least to ensure that the Triple C movement or the Chamisa led Triple C will win the by elections in Bulawayo and all over the country. In fact, she's rallied all her supporters, the country, all her supporters countrywide to come out in full force in support of Nelson Chamisa. Some of your comments, let's just hear what the mood on the ground is. Christina Chido, Chido Chamwari, Chakanyuka, you are saying Kwasara Komich na Monzora. So you welcome the statement there from Dr. Tokuzani Kupe and you embrace the message that she has sent this morning. And you feel that with the more the merrier, so we should have more joining us. You are saying Kwasara Monzora na Komich. Faith Mavi Kuponda says here questions we are a teens way and this is uh, you there faith thank you for for your comments we are just going through some of the comments that we are receiving here we just want to make sure that we keep the comments uh, very uh, uh, child friendly as possible because i can see some of you are very bitter and the anger is making you send some comments that may not be uh Good enough for us to broadcast here. But let's see what we have here. To now, Madam Baruguti, Madam, I don't understand you. Where are you exactly? I think she has come out in the open. She was actually wearing a Triple C T-shirt with Nelson Chamisa. And first, and in effect, we, we we saw the 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 statement there from Dr. Tokuzani Kupe. So we know where she stands now. Let's forget about the past and try to move on we need as many hands as possible to win remember the beast that we're fighting is not just an ordinary one and it is true ruisana ne 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 monster it requires every single hand to be on the deck so let's embrace and uh, move on so short and precise amazing that's luke kambarami let's hear what some of you are saying and uh, not every comment here is in support of um the statement that Dr. Kupe has just released, Brian Padzamuga says, a snake is a snake, no matter you have domesticated it. And it, that's what Brian Padzamuga, that's what you think that uh, you don't feel or you don't want to believe that Dr. Tokuzani Kupe has changed. You are saying, yes, yeah, snake is a snake, no matter how much you have domesticated it. Tendai Bamusi Kadungure says, Tinga Vatarota Hope Zimwechete Yere Wangu. And it, uh, this is Tendai. <laughs> Tendai feels good. It is too soon uh, for us to just embrace Dr. Kupe like that. Thank you, Zimbabwe, for joining us. And we are going through some of the comments that we are getting from you following the statement there released by Dr. Tokuzani Kupe. For those that are joining us, Dr. Tokuzani Kupe has officially has officially endorsed the Chamisa-led Triple C movement. In fact, she came out in full support of Nelson Chamisa. She had the Triple C adorned in Triple C colors with Nelson Chamisa's face. Um, and and, and, and on, uh, yeah, if we can actually show you some of the, the pictures that we... Um, we're showing earlier on regarding the for those that are joining us just to show you the entrance of dr tokuzani kupe there as she came for that press conference this morning so let's just have a look at this that's dr tokuzani kupe there arriving for the press conference for those that may be in doubt that she has fully endorsed Nelson Chamisa there, as you can see, arriving for the press conference in Triple C um, colors. Uh, Dr. Tokozani Kupe went on to give a statement and 
rally their supporters to come out in their full numbers to support Nelson Chamisa. Let's just listen to the statement for those that were not here earlier when she delivered the statement. Stay tuned to Zim Daily. Thank you very much, uh, members of the media, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we are here today. Uh, we are here today in Zirigazi, Makokova constituency, where we will be having one of the by elections this Saturday. It is a deliberate that we are making or we are holding this presser here in Zirigazi because. What age is one of the words that will be having a by election on Saturday? As we promised earlier on this year, that the president of the party will be making a signal which is going to guide our members, our supporters, and the general public towards an overwhelming victory on Saturday. The time has come for the president of the MTCT to make that announcement. Uh, here with me, I have the president of the MTCT, Madam uh, Dr. Tawazane Kupe, uh, the DSG of the party, Madam Nongula Mguni, and the senior leadership of the party here in this uh, province and the region at large. Uh, without wasting much of your time, I will now hand over to the president of the MTCT, Madam President. The floor is yours. <laughs> Yeah. Um, thank you very much, um, Tanjo, and thank you very much, Honorable Mkum, and the rest of the members. And I would also like to take this opportunity to thank uh, members of the media for coming to our presser. Following our previous announcement, 
that we are going to be working with like-minded opposition political parties because we are stronger together and that we're going to give a signal on who our members to vote for in the upcoming by-elections. I am therefore today announcing that we are calling on all our members, all MDCT members and supporters to go and vote on the 26th of March for co Citizens Coalition for Change candidates across the country. By voting on the 26th of March, we are building a strong foundation for a resounding victory in 2023. I am also therefore calling on all our match for citizens, for, for citizens coalition for change candidates across the country. Yeah. I am also calling on all our members and supporters and citizens at large to go to every house, to go to every street, to go to every village, mobilizing citizens so that they get out to vote in their numbers on the 26th of March for Citizens Coalition for Change candidates across the country. <laughs> I am also calling on every, I would like to emphasize that it is important that we come together, we unite and join hands and rally behind advocate Nelson Chamisa. Because come 2023, there is no doubt that he is going to be the president of the Republic of Zimbabwe. And, and, and I'm calling on all of you so that we unite because collectively we must deliver real change to the people of Zimbabwe and give them better lives. That can only happen if we come together, if we join hands and, 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 and vote together on the 26th of March, 2026. Like I said, MDCT members in your numbers in all the provinces, I'm calling on all of you, Bulawayo, Mat North, Mat South, Midlands, Mashonaland West, Mashonaland Central, Mashonaland East, Harare, and everywhere else, go and vote on the 26th of March for citizens for for call for citizens coalition for change candidates across the country all of them who are contesting as mps all of them who are contesting as councillors go and vote for them in your thousands like i said by voting on the 26th of march we are building a strong foundation towards a resounding victory in 2023 so let us all of us Let us, all of us, rally behind President Nelson Chamisa as we prepare for 2023 election, as it is going to be a defining moment for every citizen in this country. I thank you. Now, thank you very much, uh, Madam President. Uh, we will now open the floor for questions. Uh, please identify yourself, your name, and the media outlet that you are coming from. Ms. Lulu. <laughs> thank you. Uh, my name is Lulu, Brenda from SAIT. Uh, Madam Kope, just for clarification's sake, are you joining CCC? If yes, you are joining, what happens to your party within CCC? Could you just explain more on that? <laughs> If you look at the name of the party, Citizens Coalition for Change, meaning it is citizens who are coming together. It is citizens who are converging so that we are able to take state power. So as MDCT, we are also converging as citizens together with other citizens so that we form a formidable force which is going to take state power in 2023. Because once we take state power, 
We know that people are guaranteed of jobs. We know that people are guaranteed of food. We know that people are guaranteed of clean water and sanitation, good health and education. We know that teachers, nurses, doctors, and every worker are guaranteed for a decent salary. Right now, as long as if we do not have state power, there is no way our people can be guaranteed of all these things. Hence the reason why we are saying we are converging as citizens coming together so that we fight in one corner and we're fighting for one cause and that one cause is to take state power so that president nelson chamisa becomes the president of the republic of zimbabwe so that he delivers real change to the people of zimbabwe Amen. Oh, yes. yeah. i'm looking at your political history Dr. I, this may sound a bit controversial, but it seems like one of the most hated politicians in this country. Why is it so? You know that if people hate you, it means we've got something to offer. Yeah. 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 And in this new movement, the Citizens Coalition for Change, time to hate each other must go because we don't have that time. The time that we have right now is to come together, converge and take state power. Citizens must come together. Let us fight in one corner. Those who are trying to do gatekeeping, they don't have any space in this movement where citizens are coming together. Our preoccupation and focus right now must be to come together as citizens and take our past behind us and move forward towards the future. And the future is a new Zimbabwe where everyone will have a better life. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. Any other question? So for the benefit of uh, those who are uh, watching us live via various platforms, from here, the party and this leadership will be going from house to house, door to door, urging our people to vote on Saturday and vote for Citizens Coalition for Change. This is why we are here. We are going to every home, every house, every hamlet, every valley, every mountain, mobilizing citizens around a common program of change, which is the Citizens Coalition for Change. Thank you very much.
There you have it, Zimbabwe. You've just heard it from the horse's mouth. We at Tokozani Kube has come out now in full support of the movement or the Citizens Coalition for Change movement led by Nelson Chamisa. Dr. Tokozani Kube, in a statement, um, has uh, come out in full support of the Triple C. Citizens Coalition for Change, and she is rallying her supporters to come out in their numbers to vote for the Nelson Chamisa led candidates. Dr. Tokuzani Kupe, who masterminded the current issues that we are seeing within the opposition, where she was in the forefront of, of these callbacks that eventually caused the issues that we are seeing today, has now come back home. She still remains the president of the MDCT movement, but now has decided to support Nelson Chamis. I think it is very important for us Zimbabweans to embrace such moves. I think it's important for us to have a unity of peoples to come together as Zimbabweans and ensure that we take the bull by the horns. It's exactly coming after 21 minutes after 11 a.m. right here on a Monday, the 25th, the 21st of March 2021. Coming to you live here from the United Kingdom on Zimbabwe Daily. Just going to go through some of the comments. What is the general mood on the ground? What do you feel or what do most of you think about Dr. Kupes, um, the move that she 
is just made there to ensure that she is part of the change movement in Zimbabwe. I think the majority of you feel that you still don't trust it, but some of the comments that we're seeing here from Emmanuel Washaya, Emmanuel says, Yekupe, we took the office from our president, uh, go to your office, we don't vote for you. Tokozanu kupe ndewe zanu, atidi kukuona, urinyoka, mota zaona zo, zawaka tengiru wanem sangano. That's Emmanuel there, feels that you still don't trust Dr. Tokozanu Kupi. You feel that she is this, she's a snake under the grass, as some of you have recently coined uh, this tag. And you, it's normally used to refer to those that are not genuinely a triple C supporter. So we have Shumbris Eki here saying that keep your enemies closer, but no position. Thank you. Some of you feel that she, we should, um, or rather the Triple C movement should embrace Dr. Tokozani Kupe, but she should not be given any position. Let's listen to Lizzie Maduve Shamu says, Chris Mudzonga. <coughs> Looking at some of the comments from you, Zimbabwe, as we... Um, uh, some of the responses to the statement they delivered by Dr. Tukuzani Kupe, she has come out in full support of the Chamisa-led Triple C movement, and she will be campaigning and supporting Nelson Chamisa going forward. We've just been listening to the statement, but we want to go through what the general mood on the ground is like. We're just gauging what you Zimbabweans feel with that move that Dr. Tukuzani Kupe has made to come out in full support of the chamisa led movement the majority of you are still um you are skeptics you feel that she has not repented enough to be accepted back in the fold but let's see what some of you are saying we are just going through some of the comments here i was in a meeting this is alex mushaba says i was in a meeting with zanu pf and our plan is working so alex thinks that that's not very genuine there from Dr. Tokuzani Kupe, she says she was in a meeting with Zanu PF, who have um, <laughs> come up with this strategy of bringing back Tokuzani Kupe. So he says, he's saying here that their strategy seems to be working of um, actually uh, destroying the opposition movement from inside. That's what she's inferring. That's what Alex there is inferring. But let's. Um, here are some of you, what some of the comments here. Uh, don't panic. This is Pat Gaz. Don't panic, people. She don't have a seat. I just want to go through uh, the comments here to see how you guys feel about uh, the stance that Dr. Toguzani Kupe has taken there. She's come back home, as some of you are alluding to. She must be embraced. We must embrace her and accept her to be part of the new family in fact the citizens coalition for change what qualifies you to be part or in parcel of this movement is you just have to be a citizen and she feels that since she is a citizen she's qualified to be a member of the citizens coalition for change this is fun chabe says revelation why vada kudzoka now vaona wave yeah that's fun job 86 you still feel that she should not be trusted let's listen to some of the comments like each other says if kupe joins i'm not going to waste my votes like he seems to want to indicate that if um, tokozani kupe is accepted back in the change movement he is going to be voting zano shamari this is a uh, a de very dangerous move. I think we all agree that there are no permanent enemies in politics. You just have to um, ensure that whoever is on your side is not causing you any damage. There are no, even Jesus himself, it, the likes of, I mean, of people like Judas within his cabinet. So you just have to manage some of these people you cannot eliminate you know these so-called snakes under the grass you'll never be able to eliminate them but you can manage them 
so that at least their damage is not as bad as they may have been planning to all right Coupe john ziva says here Coupe must join triple c as an ordinary card carrying member that's john ziva thank you very much for your comment we are looking here at some of the comments uh, from you zimbabwe uh, following the press conference from dr Kopoz tokozani Gube. the majority of you feel that she should not be trusted what do you think hit us up in the comment section we can do live here on zimbabwe daily zim daily on a monday it's 11 27 right here in london where we're coming to live from it's a, it's on a monday in case you're wondering whether we are live or not yes we're definitely live if you feel you have something to contribute hit us up in the comment section let's listen to john morrison here john morrison is saying nelson chamisa you have invited the snake into the party again that's a very stupid move i, I don't think chamisa invited tokozani kupe i honestly don't think that that's how these events have panned out i think dr tokozani kupe just decided that the best card to play here is to be part of the triple c movement as far as the triple c is concerned they do not stop anyone from endorsing them or even from supporting them so mr john morrison i don't think that's the correct characterization of the events here nelson chamisa has not he has definitely not invited kupe but uh, kupe you may want to say inv has invited yourself to be part of this change movement afadzo chirembo says kupe must remain a card caring member she must not give any she must not be given any post whatsoever that's what tafadzo chirembe there thinks let's listen to clifton haikono haikobo west says hope aizoita samtambar hope aizoita <laughs> All right, and hope I is with us some tambara dagging gas. So we at the moody and it got that's Clifton there. Clifton is saying here, uh, the, I mean, he hopes that she will not end up like Mtambara. Adam Tambara, all of us know that he has been relegated to the political dustbin. Um, he is gonna be he has struggled to actually resurrect himself, and he has decided to just end up in academics uh, here he's a professor at the university of johannesburg in south africa at least there he is more accepted but he tried to also come in yeah he tried to hijack the change movement and also imposed himself as a leader and we know how that ended did not end very well let's listen to pilani pilani utin pilan so one allow is funuti suwongi Yes, cat was niggas on OTC. The party program lay Lapa was in Babu daily when out to low mama unjani gant. Low mama unjani gant, don't you? This is all what Pilani has to say. Let's listen to Jason Liwayo. Triple C is not only the alternative political party that is the only alternative party political party that will survive in Zimbabwe. There's no doubt. I think the mood on the ground is clear that there is only one opposition party in zimbabwe all the other parties that you have in zimbabwe are deflections from just to try and 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 um, ensure that we keep our eyes off the ball we are looking at some of the comments here that are coming from you zimbabwe following that press statement from dr toguzani kupe we have him a take teresai faith president um that's what you think there, Teresa. Thank you very much for your comments. You are not very keen on having Dr. Trigozani Gube back in the movement, in the change movement. And it regards with Brian James Arguti, James Wana Munuako. And it <laughs> Brian James uh, seems to also think that Togozani Kupe is not genuine, but let's listen to Rumbi. Rumbi Mugone Arguti Ngava Murega. I see no post. Gavamrega, I see no post or anything. Ian and Sam Fanana, we're just ordinary members of the Triple C movement. Thank you very much, Rumbi. Thanks for your comments. You feel that she should be welcomed back, but she should not hold any position 
in the Triple C movement. Let's listen to Terence MK. Never trust her. She's Zano all the way. The majority of the comments here still are very skeptical of whether she's genuine or not. Hope this is Christina Chido Chamwari Chakanyuka. Hope Facha Gara Guterres, just like us. So, this is what you feel. What's going on here? Yes, in case you're joining us, we're just looking at some of the comments that are coming from you, Zimbabwe, following the press statement from Dr. Toguzani Kupe. One of the interesting things for those that have just joined us, you can probably tell from your screens there, there is our front page for today, Zimbabwe Daily. As you know, we do run a, a daily front page where we try and capture some of the events in Zimbabwe and present it in a way that is captivating. And today we are leading with the front page there. That's the, the um, cartoonization of the president. <laughs> right, that's the Mr. E.D. there and the ZEC spokesperson and the ZEC chairperson. This is actually the, um, we feel that this is a, the correct representation of the events on the ground, especially when you anything that pertains to the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission. We know that the newly appointed ZEC spokesperson, uh, who is a Mangwana, by the way, Jasper Mangwana, just appointed the other day. We have seen pictures of him also with this um, scarf that is a symbol of the president. It's also a Zanu PF symbol, so to speak. And he has been uh, seen in a few uh, photographs on the internet with a scarf which basically kind of um, aligns him with the ruling party and most of you Zimbabweans feel that the links between ZANU-PF and those that are meant to be independent like the likes of Chigumba and this Mangwana boy you feel that they are just too close to ZANU-PF for them to be holding such positions and uh, the majority of you obviously feel that zanu pf is too close to an independent electoral body so most of you feel that um some of you feel that uh, elections is just a waste of time not most but some of you because these two guys here that you're seeing on the screen um the zex spokesperson who's very pro zanu and the chairperson who's also believed to be very pro zanu they are the ones who might actually decide what happens with the by-elections. We are saying that what we are seeing on the ground when it comes to all what Pachedu have been revealing the past few weeks and also the fact that these people that are at the top position of a supposedly independent body are very ZANU-PF in the way they handle themselves. And this is very worrying for many Zimbabweans. What can be done about it? We don't know. All right, let's continue here looking at the comments following the press statement from Dr. Tokuzani Kube. We're just reading your comments here for the next few minutes before we call it a day. 25 minutes to 12 p.m. right here on Zimbabwe Daily, Zim Daily on a Monday. This is the 21st of um, March 2022. We're just a few days to the 26th of March. For those that may not be aware, the by-elections in Zimbabwe are actually coming up this coming Saturday, the 26th of March. That's when the seats and the ward, um, the council, the by-elections, the member of parliament seats, and also those um, ward seats that they are being that are being contested. That's when the that election is going to be this coming saturday so saturday the 26th of march so make sure that if you have any family members that are still yet to decide how they're going to whether they're going to participate in the election or not you want to encourage them to actually exercise their democratic right to vote they say that if you actually have many people voting for change it becomes very difficult for the rigging machine to work properly so just have that in mind if you we're thinking of whether you should participate or not. The rigging machine struggles to work 
if we vote in our numbers. Robson Homela says here, Tribute key manje mukomana wavari kuda kutamba naye. Akangwara that's why mai wona tsvangira aisa siya chamisa pese pano famba. This is Robson Homela. You feel that Nelson Chamisa is good. Everything under control even issues that have to do with uh, Togozana Kupe who is now come out in full support of the Triple C movement. We have Tongi Mugar kuti ambori nema fans magani. And it this is a response to the statement from Dr. Togozana Kupe who has just released the statement saying that she's coming out in full support and she will be camping on behalf of and for the triple c uh, movement in this coming by elections and also for 2023 she encouraged all her supporters to come out in their numbers to vote for nelson chamisa's candidates this coming weekend no position in triple c so Wekwanya Shanu is welcoming Tokozani Kupe back into the change movement. But you are saying that she should not be given any position. Christina Chidochamari, we have read your comment before. So you are just agreeing with Wekwanya Shanu there. Let's see some of the comments here. Edith Ziva says, Mukwane Maimi Bisai Embe Yachamisa Musade Kutuveringidza. That is uh, Edith Ziva. <laughs> Edith Ziva is not very amused with um, the turn of events there. Dr. Togozani Kupe has endorsed the Chamisa led Triple C movement, and we have just been following the events there for you. Let's hear what some of you are saying. We're just going to read a few more comments as we are coming up to 22 minutes to 12 p.m. In the next 22 minutes, we'll just do a rundown of the comments that are coming from you, Zimbabwe. Uh, okay, so she's just taking a few of her friends here to come and see for themselves. We are looking at the comments from you Zimbabweans following the statement that Dr. Togozani Kupe just released a few moments ago. She will be supporting the Triple C movement in the next by-elections and also in the 2023 elections. She has encouraged all her supporters to come out in their numbers and vote for the Chamista uh, candidates this coming Saturday. Kupe Anumbuita Sei Chaizu this is Achi Tatenda Doto. Thank you very much for your comment. We are looking at the responses at judging the mood that on the ground there from the statement that Dr. Tokozani Kupe released earlier. Like Ichawira says, Agutadza Gutawara citizens for coalition for change. Uyo, Panezo Buddha Ipap. All right, that's like Ichawira. Thank you. Uh, saying that she was struggling to say citizens coalition for change so they we should not expect anything from here let's listen to what ray is saying here ray tonderai argutie aisi zanu policy politics zacho zakuda kukwariru and it again quite a number of you are skeptics you feel that she has not repented enough to be accepted back in the change movement baba vanyasha varuti baba wenyasha moms in a madrama ah so the majority of you seem to be uh you don't you're not very amused by the idea of bringing her back to the party but some of you also feel that we the more the merrier we should never have any permanent enemies in politics but we should have permanent interests as long as that person is pushing our interest which is uh the change interest so they should be accepted and i think uh, we don't know how far dr tokozani kupe has repented tokozani tozani <laughs> all right so there you go there the we got the spelling for tokozani wrong on that banner that is scrolling 
on the screen. Let me see if I, we can actually get that corrected very quickly as we continue to read some of your comments. Right here on Zoom Daily, this is the 26th of, um, um, sorry, the 21st of March 2021. 11.41 is our time here in London, right here on Zim Daily. Zimbabwe Daily. On a Monday, we're just going through the comments just to gauge the mood on the ground. So that banner now has been corrected. We should now read Tokozani Kupe and Dosis Chamisa led Triple C movement. That video was brought to you. It's a video credit to the Center for Coalition, Center for Innovation and Technology, a blower your best um, technology company that brought us the feed this morning. As we go through the last parts of the comments, we've got Brian James here saying freedom of choice. Chamisa should not check here. She should just be an ordinary member like us. That's what some of you feel. You feel that she should be accepted and she should be an ordinary member just like us. Let's listen to Valentine Mavimila Akumanaka Drama Irigwere. Mukadzuyu Anotunzira Confusion. That's Valentine. And let's see. Sheikh Mombe Ure Argutia. Thanks, my Kupe. Chaka Kosha. It's your vote, Nemuri. Chaka Kosha, it's your vote. Nemuri. Even if Mrs. Miss Tokozane Kupe just brings one vote, I think it is good enough. And it every little helps. Let's just make sure that we have many people for us than against us. Let's listen to Brian B. Bechani. Arutia, this is maturity well done, Kupe. Truly Zimbabwe, not Poland. I like the idea. Andrew Mimi says, thank you, Toko. Tinashe Guatra says, this woman must just quit politics. Faith Kaponda says, drama queen, I wow. And it, yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Uh, what some of you are saying here, right here on Zim Daily, we have Rengai Chinyangarara says Triple C Ichechi Yepanze. Aizare, that's deep. That's deep there, Rangai. And it got Chechi Paspemuti. This is what Rangai is saying. Akuna Munu Anovare wa Chechi Yepaspemuti. Some of us who actually Takakuri Rakumusha, we know very well Tinesa Kurele Makaya. So, that's what Rangai Chinyangarara is saying. That I church in Genelo are pants with slash. I twat. I tattoo Munduonga. Those who are on a Rangai Chinyangarara with church in opinion were pass Pemuti, cannot church your pants. I zar. And it is one way to take a good room. Shut I pinned the church pass pimut. A panamusu water and body church in a sea. Yataka zosera one, Gumbane good church young as are. Ye pass pimut is are. And it Muritins were rich caranga job. Sagando Zurguit Capana. I think this is what Ranga is saying that if you, those that have attended a church in an open space <laughs> and a tree, they know that you never turn away anyone because there's just enough room for everyone. I think this is the kind of attitude that we should be having when it comes to issues like this. The more, the merrier. The idea that we can, uh, even those, you don't have permanent enemies in politics. That's not how politics, I think, those that are in politics will tell you this. You have permanent interests. As long as your so-called enemy is in line with your interest, and it again, they are not your enemy. And that's how we should always look at this. You can never root out uh, the snakes under the grass, even within Chamisa's Triple C movement. In fact, even some of his top comrades may actually be working for Zano PF, but you just have to manage them. You know, you just have to ensure that you are not uh, making yourself vulnerable by revealing every single strategy to some of the people. In fact, people you don't trust, you can see them. I mean, we gave an example of how G 
Jesus allowed Judas, you know, Judas Iscariot. Jesus knew very well that Judas uh, was never genuine, but he allowed him to continue sitting on the table with him. That is the same attitude that we should have. Let's embrace everyone. Let's have as many as we can. Let's manage those we suspect of being snakes under the grass. That's at least that's my opinion there. Could be wrong, but uh, that's the way I see it. Like Ichawira says here, stop it, madam. And it <laughs> stop it, madam, stop it, Mama Zuere, Mr. Like. Madam, stop it. That's what you're saying, Rumbi. And then we just have a few more minutes, 18 minutes to the top of the hour, where we're going to be signing out. Um, as we'll be looking at other things right here on Zimbabwe Daily on a Monday. Today is the 21st of March. We have just been listening to a statement from Dr. Tokuzani Kupe there. We're just judging or gauging rather the mood on the ground. What you guys feel or think about the turn of events. Politics, they say 24 hours is a very long time in politics. Dr. Tokuzani Kupe just released a ballistic missile there this morning. She has come out in full support of Nelson Chamisa. Whether you like it or not, this is the way it is the way it is. And it memory and it <laughs> you don't want anything to do with Dr. Tokuzani Kube. Let's hear what Tendai Kadungure is saying. Douglas Ngawe or Priest Tondrika Bali Chive Weapano. I think you're taking someone there to come and see what's going on here. I think uh, the attitude that you have there is a very progressive one. Tendai Kadunguru, you feel that we should accept as many as we can into this movement of change, even if it means accepting Douglas. And it, it's, it's a perception issue, you know. Perception matters because, remember, the world out there is watching us. And if we can get as many people to unite with uh, the change movement, it also paints a better picture out there. Even if if they try to reach this, the international community can come to our rescue. But if they see a fragmented opposition, that doesn't really uh, send a very good uh, message to you our partners out there. So we want to make sure that we get as many people as possible in on our side. And it got in Zimbabwe. It's exactly 11 minutes to 12 p.m. right here in London on a Monday, Monday the 21st of March 2022. Right here on Zim Daily, we are looking at some of the comments that are coming from you. On your screens, you can see our front page for today. This is the Zim Daily front page. I just want to maybe give you a bit of insight of what is going on there. If you are just joining us, just to highlight uh, the headlines for today. And it's uh, Zek Chief and Spokesperson. Zek Chief and Spokesperson's links with Zano PF warning. And, and it, uh, there is, seem to be some issues with. Um, at, at the majority of us who feel that the top leadership in the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission are too close to ZANU PF, and um, this is uh, these are the people that are meant to the integrity of these people in ZEC is paramount to the outcome of the elections this coming Saturday. Some of them are too close to ZANU PF. This is not, we're just not making this up. You've seen pictures of Jasper Mangwana, who's the newly elected chairperson, sorry, spokesperson for Zach. This young man, very young, by the way, probably in his 20s, he is now the spokesperson for Zach. You understand he's related to Nick Mangwana and also Paul Mangwana. They seem to be running it like a family business. And also the Zach chairperson, you've got pictures out there of them donning this ZANU PF symbol, this scarf that you're seeing on the screen. And there's some serious questions around their independence when it comes to um, presiding over the coming elections. 
So there you are, Zimbabweans. Whatever your views are on this issue, I think it is worrying to see these two. They are meant to be the senior leaders within a supposedly independent body. They are too, too, way, way, way too close to ZANU-PF. What can we do about it? Let's make sure that on Saturday, this is the message that is coming from, from us to you. Make sure that if you've got anyone that is still deciding on whether they should participate or they should vote this coming by-election, this coming Saturday, March the 26th, make sure you encourage them to go and vote. Apparently, the rigging machine struggles when we overwhelm it with uh, <laughs> with change votes. And this is uh, what people are saying, that let's make sure we go out and vote in our numbers so that we overwhelm the system to the point that it will be very difficult for them to rig the elections. Right here on Zim Daily, eight more minutes before we bring this program to an end. Sylvester Slime Tambisi Gorodo, Asi Kupe, Unombo Zuiti Reichaiju. But thanks, you swallowed your pride, not Zwana Dagi. And it, this is uh, Sylvester is saying, Waimbo Zuiti Rei, but you are humble enough to accept her back. I think it's. Um, this is leadership uh, when we can be in a position to forgive those that may have wronged us. So thank you very much, the Mr. Sylvester. Coming to Tabani Zulu, Tabani is saying, Kupe cannot be trusted. Tomorrow she will claim she brought most of the voters and claim a position in the party. This is just right. So I think some of the, it's, it's important that we respond to some of these comments i take a position that the more uh the more the better for the movement um for the change movement this is the position that we have taken and we feel that the more we can actually show the world that we are united regardless of our differences you know as outsiders those that are watching zimbabwe if they see a fragmented opposition it doesn't really encourage them to support the court. So that's why, regardless of what Kupe may have done, I think it is important for us, Zimbabweans, Zimbabweans even Mudzimba, you know, in our homes, Mudzimba, Matunogarum, Tununetsana, Nemadzimai, Nevana, Madzimai, Nevarumi, and all that. But you come to a point where you say, come on, for the sake of unity, so that the neighbors will not see that we are not united. Let's just unite. It's, it's called the unity unit of purpose and it, you are working towards a specific goal and you unite towards that goal so we feel that Tokozani Kupe might have I think she spent almost 15 to 18 years in this struggle we can't just throw away that struggle I mean her contribution to the struggle just because she may have destroyed part of the struggle I think it is important for us to also recognize the role that she played in the years that she spent fighting for change. I also feel that even if people like Douglas and many others see their faults and they repent and come back and want to be part of this, we should impress them. This is the way we see, at least this is the view, our view of the world. We might be totally wrong, but that's the way we see it. The last few comments right here. On Zim Daily, right here on a Monday, we are looking at a December here. Chamisa Shunura Unomedzwa Nevanwa. And it, this is uh, <laughs> Eddie insists that Chamisa should be vigilant. Uh, uh, otherwise, he will be swallowed by the so called 10 courts or these people that are pretending to have changed. To have repented. Kensington Dick Arwood Zakawa Maifuku Penga was a person. That's your contribution to this struggle, Mr. Eland Ngonile. Ngoni says Kupe is now triple C after what he did to Chamisa. Yeah, yeah, I think I I, I totally understand. Uh, I think some of you feel that you have 
I mean, she faulted you in so many ways. In fact, um, the majority of us feel that um, what Dr. Tukuzani Kupe did was not right. We totally agree that she was single-handedly responsible for trying to destroy this movement. But we also understand that even Mukar Wamumba, you know, when you fight in the home, there's a time when you sit down and talk and then unite for the sake of Vana and it. All right, there you go. Mr. Elland, I think after what he did to Chamisa, after what she did to Chamisa, we can still forgive and accept it back. All right, that's the way we think. We could be totally wrong. But at least that's our view of the world. That the more, the merrier. Noria, Nora, Nora, Nyanyira says, Asku nyara yere, ne zhargu taura. Okay, okay, there you go. <laughs> Reynold Mubaiwa Chupfumbi says, Welcome back home, madam. Reynold, you are actually speaking the language of, uh, yeah, you sound a bit more mature than some of the comments that we're seeing here. Thank you very much, Raymond. Um, Reynold, sorry. Thank you very much for your comment. I think we should be welcoming back. Some of us who have a Christian um, upbringing understand that you remember that young man who decided to ask for everything that, is, that belonged to him from his father and he went away and squandered it and the father still welcomed him back. That's you there, Reynold. Thank you very much for your comment. I'm currently dead. <laughs> That's Shingirai Mupupi there. Shingirai is dead, so he doesn't have any anything to say. Faith Maveka Ponda says, As pese apa, nai mai, maisala zivakuti, collectively in Oshanda. All right. Thank you very much. We have exactly two minutes to bring this show to a close. Just as we have been following the comments, there are just quite too many of these comments. Sorry, we can't go through all of them, but we'll try and just maybe look at the last few ones that um, have just hit our desk here. We've got Abel Vukomba says, That's what Abel Vukomba is saying. Timoth. Mabwe says Ngawe Abaye Kumateres. Brian Makura says Mugabe also supported Chamisa even after murdering MDC supporters. Tari Romanyanga says, Welcome, Madam Kupe. Uh, Tina Priscilla Panabarguti, tell them prophet Yindo Miedzo. And it Priscilla Arguti Zani <laughs> Kupe is a temptation. Ndo Miedzo. And uh, we are just going to go through one or two last comments. If you can't defeat them, join them. Kupe knows her game in politics was going to end on the 26th of March. That's why she decided to join Triple C. I don't entirely agree uh, with the characterization of. Uh, the events here from you, Venekai, Venekai Makamure. I think uh, Kupe had a choice. You know, Zanopiev is more than willing to embrace you if you can just do their dirty job. So she had a choice. She could have stayed in Zanu. And uh, I think she was even given a few packs and uh, she's still enjoying some of them. So she definitely has a choice to either remain Zanopiev or be part of the change movement. And I think she has chosen the light over darkness. So I do not entirely agree with the fact, with the statement that Kupe knows or knew her game in politics was going to end on the 26th of March. That's why she decided to join Triple C. Could be wrong. You, uh, you could be right, <laughs> could be wrong. But there you are. So let's. Uh, bring this to an end with the last comment here from Clemens Maguchu. Clemens says the fact that she has persuaded her followers to vote for Chamisa is more important than her joining 
the triple c movement thank you very much zimbabwe and thank you for taking some time to be with us here on a monday monday the 25th the 21st of march 2022 it's exactly a, a minute after midday right here in london it's been nice having hanging out with you today on this very note we are just going to call it a day stay tuned to zoom daily for more but bye for now Thank you.